Hello, welcome to another episode of Beer and Rockets. Yes, I have figured out a name for the show. Uh, my buddy Tib thought of the name. Um, beer and Rockets, because I drink beer and I play with Rockets. It seems to fit. Um, so if you call, if you recall the last episode, problem with Beer and Rockets, sorry, little tangent here, problem with Beer and Rockets, I get my speech slurred. One problem, anyways. Anyways, if you recall the last episode, we've got a man trapped up in space here. He's over here. And he is trapped. No fuel. Can't get home. Kind of an odd looking orbit there. There's some debris from him. I Okay. One thing I did do off camera, now that I think about it. I used, he does have some RCS fuel left. And so I used the RCS fuel to flatten out his orbit a bit. Well, quite a bit, because it was, it was that. It, that was a crazy orbit, so I had to flatten that out. So I did manage to do that, and instead of being that, it's this now. So that should make it a lot easier for me to get and capture him. I've also, off camera, worked out a little rocket that I think should do the trick. Where is it here? Where are you? Uh, was this it? I, I, I did a couple. I did that one. I don't think that one was going to work. Yeah, this is the one. Okay. Yeah. Here it is. Alright. So, same premise as before. Got the command module. I'm going big again. I said I was going to go small. I'm going big. Still, uh, got the command module, got the little rescue module. I put parachutes on the rescue module. I was playing around with this some, and so what will happen is when I come back in, I keep gesturing towards the screen like you can see me. I can't get over that. What will happen is when we're coming back into the atmosphere, this will detach here, and the parachutes will open at the same time. Poof. Then these parachutes will open, everything will come down, nice and soft, it'll be happy, everybody will be home, good time will be had, everybody will have lots of beer afterwards. So, this should do it. Um, you know, I had a thought. From what I understand, the nose cones don't actually do anything at this point in the game. They just look good. But all they do is add weight. So I'm not going to put any on here. I'll leave these ones. I don't know. I'll just leave it. Whatever. To the launch pad! Yeah. You can see I kind of... I played around with this rocket to make sure it would kind of work a little bit. So we've got... Bill, Jebediah, and Bob. Jebediah, how are you in two places at once? I want to know this. I really do. Alright. Everything looks good. We're in the sun. Where's the ship we're going to rest? Yeah. Well, we'll mess with the orbit when we get up there. I should have enough fuel for this. So, SAS on. Throttle up. In three... Two, one, ignition. Oh, something screwed up. Wait, what? No. What? No. My main rocket isn't firing. Darn it. <laughs> oh, God, it's stepping over, it's stepping over. Oh, boy. And there it goes. Ah! They live! Oh, jeez. Yeah, okay, they lived. Everybody's alive. We're good. We're safe. Hey, even the engine's not destroyed. The main engine did not destroy, so we can use that again. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah. Make sure your staging is correct. Good tip for life. Oh boy, okay. Um, 
Um, what am I doing here? Main engine. We want the main engine to fire at the same time because we want thrust. That would be good. Uh, let me save that too. Okay, clear the launch pad. Try it again. Bill, Jeb, and Bob, you ready to put your life's lives in my hands again? Oh look, I just noticed. That little water tower thing says KSC on it. What does KSC stand for? Kerbal Space... Oh, Kerbal Space Center. Okay. Throttle up. SAS on. And three, two, one. Ignition. There we go. Oh, that is a slow launch. That is a slow launch. But it's going. It is going. Got the solid boosters on. Got these on. These are also feeding fuel into the main. Once the solids run out, we'll detach those. That'll decrease the weight. That'll help. And just a little bit, actually. Wobbling a bit. Oh, these small engines have thrust factoring too. I should turn those off for to decrease the wobble, I bet. Oh well. Let's see. Five and a half kilometers. Got the little overheat warning, but it's going up pretty slowly. I think we're good. Oh, Bob is freaking out. Poor Bob. Jeb, as usual, couldn't be happier. Bill looks somewhat concerned, but I'm just concerned. Bob, not happy at all. Let's see these external tanks. We're still going. Oh, all right, let's start turning. Get us into an orbital trajectory here. Boosters about to detach here. And goodbye. That's weird. Our fuel suddenly just shot up. I'm not going to complain about it. I wonder if that's some kind of bug or something. It's weird. I think I want to stay like I'm doing here until my apoapsis reaches out into actual outer space here. In fact, I may have turned too soon. Like, maybe just, I don't know. Do that, maybe. Okay, come on, 50 kilometers. I want to get, I want to hit 70. Maybe 80 just to be safe. Oh, there we go. There we go. I'll shut it. I'll shut it down once we're out there. And shut down. Oh. Okay, and we should burn now. Orbit's increasing. Go, 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 go. Into space and shut down. Oh, I probably should have gone a little bit longer actually. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That 
That was too much. Um, that was too much. Damn, I still got this. I still got my main engine. I thought I'd be out of fuel by now. Alright. So, now we're in orbit. I'm gonna work out. I think I just hit the microphone. I'm gonna work out how to... How to meet up with our moon, moon craft. Should I call it Mun or Moon? I'll just call it the Moon. God, whatever. I'm going to work out how to hook up with our Moon craft here, and then I'll probably meet you on the other side of that. Okay, so I planned one burn here to just, just to level out our orbit here. Because we're about one one and a half degrees off so we want to level that out so I've got a little small burn here just to level that out and then it's gonna be tricky to get my orbit to match and get into the same spot it's gonna be tricky to match up and meet up with the mooncraft here but let's see here all right let's let's time warp ahead some a little bit more than that. Okay. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Yeah. I got the. If I do this burn right, I'll be exactly zero and zero. I'll exactly match the Mooncraft's orbit uh, angle, anyways. Oh crap! It would help if. Oh man. I almost want to get rid of. This long, the there's like hardly any fuel left in it. You know what? I'm just gonna get rid of it. That makes things easier to turn and stuff now. Um, okay. I should have done this earlier before time warping. Where's the spot where I need to go to actually do the burn? Wait, I thought I saw it. Okay, there we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Alright. I left the last stage behind. Okay, it's saying it's only two second burn. That's a real quickie. Jeb, you couldn't look more creepy right now. Bill and Bob, calm the heck down. Nothing's gonna happen. Okay, three, two, one, ignition. Oh, helps if I fire. Crap, what? That? I hit the wrong button. I kind of screwed that up a little bit. And start down. Okay, how do we do? Uh, okay, we're good. Zero and zero. Zero point one. Close enough. We're good. Awesome. All right, now to do our burn to meet up. We're on a short, uh, a smaller orbit, so we're moving faster. So maybe I can just catch up like right away. Oh man. It's probably going to be a long burn to get all the way out there. Uh, how's that working? Four hundred eighty-four kilometers. Let's see if I can move that around some. Whoa. Yeah. No. Two hundred twenty-five kilometers. I want to get closer. Whoa, what was that? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Here we go, here we go. 20 kilometers. Okay, I think... I think we can play with that a little. Oh, okay, 34. 13, there we go. 
now we're now we're talking so we'll get there and then at that point we'll increase the we'll work it out to so that we can match your bay exactly I think it's gonna be tricky and this time I'm gonna point my ship in the right direction beforehand because that would be good here we go I think I'm finally working my way through the controls it's 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 the controls are in relation to your ball here so left is left on the ball I'll, right on the ball yeah so it's all relation to that that's what was screwing me up when I was trying to control it earlier oh look at this Ooh. sunrise curb and rise Cur no sunrise what am I thinking beer that's what I'm thinking is beer oh I'm out of beer can I still call the show beer and rockets when I have no beer that is pretty though I like that alright so how long to our burn 4 minutes 39 seconds let's fast forward a bit and we'll get to that Let's fast forward a bit more. And oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. it's 54 seconds, so I should burn now. Crap. I fast forwarded a little too much. <laughs> Whoops. Go, go, go. Yeah, it's a pretty long burn. It probably would have been better if I tried to go on, if I tried to extend this side of the orbit to this shorter side here. That probably would have been a better thing to do. Stay on target. It looks like we're heading pretty much right for it. In this case, I mean, look at that. They're all almost right on top of each other. And we're almost done with the burn. Three, two, one, stop. Done. What were we like? Nine point five kilometers, even better. Hey hey. Look at that. Alright, so we'll come back when we get over there and see if we can't get us into a matching orbit with the Mooncraft here. So we can rescue our man. See you then. Alright, so as you can see we're getting pretty close here to our moon craft. It's only, what, what did that say? Less than 120 kilometers away now. Uh, can we see him? He's over this way somewhere, but we can't see the little dot yet. But yeah, um, we're coming up to, I set a maneuver here to match our orbits where our angle got a little bit off again. So, We'll have to fix that, but we're getting pretty close here. So let me let's time warp ahead a bit. Oh, there he is. There he is. We're coming to get you, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, and go. Match our orbits. down to about half our tank of fuel. It's a little worrisome. I'd like to have a little bit more than that, actually. And done. Okay, how'd that work? About what I expected it looks like. Um, okay. So, I'm going 21.7 meters per second in relation to the target. Now, from what I understand, I want to get that as close to zero as possible, and then I can just go ahead and burn towards him. I want to be pretty much zeroed in relation to him. So, what's going on here is, um, all right, well, let's just add a maneuver here. I think I can do this. 
real quick. And oh, a little too much. Right like that, I think. Yeah. Descending node zero. Ascending node zero. Okay, so that should be good. I'm gonna turn off the SAS before I try to turn to it. Um, where is he? Okay, there he is. So that should get my orbit perfectly matched. Is the idea, anyways. Uh, let's see. This may burn one second. That's gonna be tricky. Let's time warp a little bit ahead. Come on. Okay, wait. Whoa. Don't want to get too far ahead there. Where's Carbon at? Oh, there's Carbon. Uh, so distant. Okay, what we got? Eight seconds to the burn. Come on, I get you. Go! Oh! Open more. Stop. There. Get rid of the maneuver so I can see what I'm doing. And. I think we're pretty much right there, right? Ascending node zero, descending node zero. All right, we've matched orbits. And, oh, I could have just looked right here. 4.4 meters per second. Oh, wrong way, okay. So if I turn it around now, because I think I'm going a little too fast now. So if I turn it completely around, 90 degrees, or 180 degrees. Wow, Ken. Stop. Okay, whoa. No. Maybe not. Okay, look, how about... Okay, I'm going five meters per second. How about I just burn to them and see what happens? We'll work this out. Uh, I'm not sure that's the right thing to do. Should be. Maybe. I want to close the distance now, so. This is what I want to do, I think. Alright. Hmm. I think I screwed myself up a little bit there. Maybe I should have waited till I got here. Yeah, I think I screwed myself up a little. I, should, I think I should have waited till I got there to the closest point and then burn some more. Okay, well, let me fast forward to that. Come on. Um, less than four kilometers now. Jeez, I'm gonna get less than one kilometer, holy crap. Holy okay. 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 I'm a little confused now. And this is showing that this is retrograde, but I think I need to burn this way. Yeah, that can match orbits. Okay, yeah, 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 and stop. A little too much. A little bit too much. I'm moving away. I don't want to move away. I want to move towards. We'll work this out somehow. I don't know. Okay, maybe like. There we go. Okay. Separation 0.4 kilometers. I'm. Yeah, that. Okay. 
I'm at 0.9 meters per second towards. So. I think I'm doing it. I think I'm doing it. Point myself straight to him now. And this sh we should be able to get this. Alright. It's going to take me a minute to get over to him. I'll see you then. Alright. We're back and we're coming up real quick. Holy crap. Okay. 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 Whoa. Whoa. No. Wrong way. No. Wrong way. Okay. Slow it down. Ooh, I don't want to overshoot. Using the RCS to slow down a bit here. Here we go. There we go. All right. Nope, oh, turn off the SAS, you numb nuts. There we go. Now we'll just thrust towards him. We're coming for you, buddy. We're right here. Bill, Bob, relax. Nothing's going wrong. Everything's going perfect. We got, look at that. We got plenty of fuel left to deorbit. Plenty of RCS fuel left. And we're right up here. We're coming up here 60 meters. We're going to rescue this guy. We're going to take him home. It only took about, what, killing another 12 Kerbals to do it with all the tests I've done, some of them off camera, just to figure out some rockets that can maybe get up here. It was worth it. Leave no man behind, am I right? Yeah. I'm still working out these RCS controls, I think. No, that, that's forward. I don't want forward. Okay, look at it. There you are. There you are. All right. Reverse thrust a little bit. Slows down. This is good practice, because eventually I'm gonna want to start doing like some docking and stuff. Maybe put up a space station. That'd be neat. There we go. We're pretty much as close to station keeping as I'm going to get. Nope. Nope. Darn it. Wrong button. There. There. Nope. Nope. Yeah. Oh! Zero. Exactly. Zero. I am... About as close to pitch perfect with the Mooncraft as I can get. Yeah. Look at that. 15 meters off of her. All right. Well, let's get let's get Jebediah, other Jebediah, home. Where are they? Clones? What the heck? Are the Kerbin community or the Kerbins a race of clones? Is this what this is? All right. Um. How do I do this? I think I okay yeah. Uh, Jeb, where is he? How come he's not here? Um, what? 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 Hold on, let's. See if I can do it this way. There he is. Okay. Yeah. There we go. There you are. Thought I lost you there. Thought you died of starvation or something. Being up there for so long. Well. Hey, let's see if we can. Oh, not, not the M. Jeez. Let's see if we can, uh. Turn this so we can see inside. So we can. Can we see the 
our rescue ship. Nope. Oh, why? Whatever. Oh, I got the SAS on. Jeez. Okay. Alright, Jeb. Time to go home. Uh, what's that? There. That's the little pack thing. So... Go EVA, go to your rescue ship. Where's the, where's the hatch? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Too fast, too fast, come on, slow it down. There we go, okay. Now you're talking. All right. Go into your little rescue pod here. And grab it. And board. And there we go. We've got two Jebs. His little moon craft can just float there in space for all eternity. A space junk. A testament to the Kerbin's first attempt to go around the moon. It worked. Sort of. Now, now that we've got Jeb, this was working flawlessly so far, which is awesome. Let's see, we're coming up on the apoapsis, which is the perfect time for a deorbit burn. Bring our periapsis down and splash down. So let's plan that out real quick. Probably don't actually need to, but I'm going to anyways. Da 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 da. A little bit more than that, actually. Yeah, that's plenty into the atmosphere. Where is the Kerbin Space Center? It must be on the dark side. I can't really see it. Um. Oh, I think... Oh, that's it. There. I think. Yeah, launch pad. Okay. So we're not going to land anywhere near the launch pad. That's disappointing, but oh well. I'm not too worried about that. Other way. Line us up. Okay. So we only got... Hmm, excuse me. So we got, what, less than three minutes? All right. Let's do this then. Jeb, we're taking you home. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. T time warp. Holy crap. Whoa, there goes the Moocraft. Yeah. <laughs> Not paying attention. Beer and rockets, huh? It's a it's great mixture. And done. Alright, pretty much right on target. I obviously need more beer because I'm doing too good today. The moon crafts seven kilometers away and getting further away. It's going a lot faster than us now. And well we got a bit of an orbit here to go still, so I will see you when we start to come down into Kerbin. So I said I I know I said I'd see you once we start to come down, but I couldn't resist. We're about to get a sunrise here. And there it is. Woohoo. That is pretty. Hey, look, Bill's pretty happy. Jeb, of course, ecstatic as always. And Bob, eh, he's kind of meh. I don't think he's too happy. I don't know why. Cheer up, man. You're going home. I got the time warp on. Uh, let's see. 280 kilometers to home. Do we hit atmosphere? Well, whatever I'm trying to say, I don't know. So, let's go ahead and get into landing position. 
Everything here should work with the detaching and the parachuting. Hopefully. Maybe that's why Bob's not too happy, because of that. Hopefully. But it should all work out. I hope. Alright. A little bit more fast forwarding. Let's 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 move along. Okay, and we're, well, we hit atmosphere, the music just stopped. I'm going to release the service module now. We have no use of that. Uh, let me just adjust myself a little bit here first. And oh, there, okay. And release. Goodbye, faithful service module. You still had quite a bit of fuel on And... I left the SAS module on there. I'm going to go wildly out of control when I hit the atmosphere, aren't I? This should be fun. Well, I'm kind of starting to hit atmosphere now. So... Oh, wrong way. Come on. No. Nope. Ah. There. Oh, jeez. Why, why did I touch the controls? Why did I touch the controls? Okay, come on. You can work this out, Ken. Up, down, left, right. It's pretty simple. SAS doesn't do anything because I have no SAS module. Because it's going off there. Oh, whoa. Why are you moving? Stop moving. Stop it. Stop it. Stay. Alright. Well, this thing just wants to... This thing just has a mind of its own. Must be the atmosphere working on it. It just wants to go wherever it wants to go. Relax, guys. You're coming home. Made this probably a little bit too shallow. Probably should have come in a little bit steeper. It's going to take a bit. Um, wait, what? I'm gaining altitude? What? No. Uh, no. But, but I'm in the atmosphere. I should have atmospheric drag. Oh. Crap. No. I don't. I'm skipping off the atmosphere. Oh my god. I'm skipping off the freaking atmosphere. I made it too shallow and I really oh just, just did can can I go back to a save? Can what's the I don't even know the control for going back to an auto save. Because I know it's been auto saving. Can I go back to that? Crap. Okay, so the game crashed on me while I was kind of all tapping out, but when I came back, yeah, I'm still in the same situation. I've released the the service module, and I'm moving away. I thought 40 kilometers would be enough atmosphere to slow me down and bring me down, but apparently I was wrong. It did slow me down quite a bit, actually, but not enough. Um, okay. Okay, with any luck, with any luck, I'll go out, I'll come back, and it'll slow me down again. Um, oh, I'm in the atmosphere, so. Oh, boy. <laughs> Darn it. Darn it. Ah. Okay, future reference, when coming back in to land, go deeper in the atmosphere before you release the service module. Because, oh, jeez, what the, the heck? I, I, I lost the game. What, what happened? I didn't even click out of it this time. Well, maybe I did. I got two monitors. What? Come on. 
Oh, it won't let me in again. Hold on. Okay, so now I'm back again, and... <laughs> Jeez, I'm having all kinds of issues today. All kinds of technical difficulties. Um, Alright, that put me back a little bit. Um, Alright, so... What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward through my orbit here, and come back, and hopefully the atmosphere will slow me down some more, and I'll just eventually <laughs> splash down somewhere. Who knows where? Uh, I can't fast forward yet, because I'm still in the atmosphere. But, okay, I'll see you on the other side of this orbit. Okay, and that orbit is done now, and we're below 70 kilometers. So, yeah, you can see atmospheric drag is working on us a little bit. And we're not into very much atmosphere, <laughs> not much at all, but it's enough to change our orbit some. Um, and we are going down a little bit, so it may not even be this time, but eventually this will work and we'll land. <laughs> oh, jeez, I screwed this up. I screwed this up. Oh, man. Um, okay. Well, this is probably going to be a boring, a boring wait. Boy, I can talk. So, I will come back when we have something that we're actually doing. Yeah. Okay, and I'm back. And as you can see, we actually did another whole orbit that last time through the atmosphere. Brought us down from a little over, like we were, we were out here actually, I think. Our apoapsis was about out here, where that is now. And it came down here. So I think this will be the last trip. I think this last bit through the atmosphere through the atmosphere will bring our apoapsis down to a point where we'll actually land. It should be enough. Um it takes a while though. It that's uh, why don't I just slow down, do another deorbit burn for longer? Jeez. Oh boy. The things we learn. Okay. Well, this is going to take a bit. So, I'm probably going to just cut out again for now. So, we've... So, we've reached our periapsis now. And it's still going down, actually. Our apoapsis is coming down now, too. Okay, yeah, come on. We're still in the atmosphere, so we're still getting that... We're still getting that drag. Um, so this might bring us home. Come on now. There we go. Starting to flip. Just get us on the ground already. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Come on. Yeah, okay, so we're not leaving the atmosphere this time, so it's just all going to be drag and we're going to we're going to land eventually. There it goes. See that? Okay. There we now we're talking. Now we're going to stay in the atmosphere. And what kind of landing are we going to get? It's it's shrinking fast now. We gonna land over over here ish. It's looking that way. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's looking like we're gonna be oh, well, maybe more over this way. It's slowing down now, so. Oh, we still got ways to go. It's so shallow. We're just going to fly through everything here. Wish I could fast forward more than 2x. Yeah, this thing's tumbling out of control. Well, Bill seems... Oh, he did look pleased. Now he looks concerned. Probably because of the tumbling. Yeah, what are we doing here? 
Oh yeah, I think we might land on this little piece of land sticking out here. It's up ahead here. Look at that perfect little triangle of sand. All right, are we hitting some? Okay, there we go. Now we got the the atmospheric burning effects going. Now we're really hitting some atmosphere. Good. Good, good, good. Nope, nope, nope. Not that it matters because I don't have a heat shield and that stuff doesn't matter yet. It'll get real interesting when they implement that kind of stuff into the game. Can you imagine going with that whole mission and then burning up into Kerbin's atmosphere? Yeah, we're definitely going to land in the water. Bob, come down. You're almost home. Okay, so this part's going to detach, and the parachutes are going to deploy at the same time. So I'm going to do that right about... Uh, how about now? Looks good. Command module shoots. All right. Set that as my target just so I can watch it. Uh, we're in business right off the coast. Everybody's going to be safe. Got our man out of orbit. The Kerbin Space Center can send their rescue choppers and the shoots deploy. Oh, and. The rescue craft shoots have deployed also. I gave that one four shoots. Just to slow it down more than than the command module. But yeah. It looks like that was a successful mission. Which is good after all the difficulty that gave me. But this is good. I've learned how to match my orbits up and and how to Rendezvous with another ship. Next thing, docking. Which, I think I can do it. I think I can get that. I got pretty close to that. I mean, there was no actual docking involved there. There was no way to dock with anything. But I think if I had had to dock there, I could have done it. So that's cool. So. Come on down to the water. Go swimming. And splash down. Uh, where's the other thing? Where's the rescue pod? Where is it? There it is. I want to make sure that comes down. Because in one of my tests, this thing blew up when it hit. I had more weight on it at the time, though. And... Alright. There we go. Perfect. Everybody's rescued and safe and you're upside down now. You'll live. So, I'm Ken from AwkwardGeeks.com. Check us out sometime. And have fun. Thanks.